so i'm actually where i'm helping my uni out for like room tours today or whatever so it's not gonna be a very long detailed video um if you recognize this this is my baby i missed her so much i packed the baby right in on like this time to get video because i've been missing baby but this is my boho exotic hair i have several videos on this hair so if you like this hair as popping as it is then you need to go check out the video that's how long it is so um yeah but this is gonna be a quick video i actually thought it was a good idea hold on yeah i actually thought it'd be a good idea to do a video for the guys out there so i know that my brother and some other guys i know are actually trying to grow their hair out and i'm always giving them tips but I just thought it'd be nice to do a video for everybody else out there, like going to man who would have do something with their hair, but they're just a little bit too scared to really ask and be like, yo, I need help trying to grow my locks out. <laughs> but anyway, um, so it's kind of the same thing that we do with our hair, but the thing about guys' hair is that it grows really fast. And you can do it for like, you can do this routine constant for two weeks and your hair will be really, really, really long. But you just need to keep on top of it because I know you will get lazy. So anyway, my top tip for guys. You know how you all have your fades or your outlines or whatever. So anyway, the longest part of your hair, um, it's better to twist it. So you know how guys walk around with like the little twists that look like locks or whatever. You can do that to your hair. So, um, I know some guys want to end up locking it eventually anyway, but the easiest way to do it and get those curls defined because you all's curls are like better than women's curls, honestly. But the easiest way to get it done is, um, mm -hmm. do your hair in sections and twist it. You can do it yourself. You can go to a hairdresser and do it. You can get your cousin to do it. You can get your girlfriend to do it. You can get your sister to do it. Your mama, whoever you want. Your granny. But it's the easiest way. My room's always doing some crazy noises <laughs> these girls they were these girls oh my god anyway so um yeah just get it done so i mean it'd be easier to demonstrate but i'm not gonna be around any guy that needs to hurt on for a while <laughs> but um part the back or whatever way you want to do it if you don't want um segment lines or squares of parting then just do it randomly with your finger twist what you can if you if it's not long enough to twist curl it like with your finger or with a comb or anything curl it um you guys don't really have a problem with your ends that i know of but obviously all her grows healthier when its ends are cut but in the beginning stage i wouldn't worry about that um you can use oil in your hair so i'd moisturize your hair with some oil first take a gel or cream twist it twist what you can twist or curl what you can curl so sometimes in the back you might just have to curl because your back is shorter than the front sometimes the front is shorter than the back so you have to curl the front and then twist the back whatever you do um, yeah it's just easier to do it that way and then um, keep it moisturized leave it like that for about a week at the end of the week or if you want to leave it for less than a week like two or three days then take it out um, and then at the end of the week do it again or if you want to leave it for the week, then you can take it out on like Friday or Saturday, leave it for the weekend, and then do it again on Sunday or Monday. Leave it, and it'll just keep growing like that. Just make sure, you, oh, whoever is trying to grow their hair, just make sure it's moisturized. Always, always, always make sure your hair has moisture in it, and you keep on top of it. Um, That's about it, really. It's the simplest thing ever. Just put it in a protective style for about every week. So if you go to the barber every week or every two weeks to get your outline touched up or whatever, then take it out, then get your outline touched up and do it again. You know, just make it a thing to do. And your hair grows really fast because you guys, like, just have the best at everything that us females want. So anyway, um, that's just a quick video. So I hope that was easy to understand. Just keep it in those twisted protective styles or those little curls. Take it out, leave it for the weekend or leave it till the end of the week. However you want to do it. Twist it back up and just keep doing it like that. Get your outline touched up, all that type of stuff. And just keep it oiled because it's just going to keep growing like that. And you guys don't even have to do anything else to it. Like, literally, that's it. Um, sometimes when you do it for the first time, I do forget to add 
your curls do look a little bit wonky or whatever but you just have to let them form the way that they want to form and fold the way that they want to fold so that it doesn't look crazy because the first couple of times when you do it, your hair is not used to doing that so it um you know it looks a little bit weird and you know what i'm noticing a lot of guys tell me that they wash their hair every day no you're not supposed to wash your hair every day if your hair is like um all natural hair if it's actual natural hair if it's not like um what's the word for this if it's not if you have natural curly hair if you have naturally curly hair you're not supposed to wash it every day i can't stress that anymore do not wash your hair every day wash it once every two weeks once every three weeks because you will be telling me that you got out of the shower and you like the way your hair moves and flicks and curls after you wash it in the shower do not wet your hair every day that is so dangerous it's not it's not about it being dangerous but it breaks off your hair it dries it out all natural curly hair needs the nutrients from everything that we put in it the more you leave it the more nutrients it gets honestly the dirtier it is the better I would never leave my hair for more than three weeks maybe three and a half weeks washing it because sometimes I get lazy but that's it like I'm not gonna leave it any longer because your braids be not up or whatever and I'm not gonna do it any sooner than that I would never wash my hair every two weeks wouldn't do it so three weeks max three and a half weeks um that's for people that have naturally curly hair if you're a guy and you have naturally curly hair and your hair is thick then you do not need to wash it every day i cannot stress that more the water will dry out your hair and then your twist or whatever you're doing to it to try and grow it out is not gonna work do not wash your hair every day keep it oil keep it moisturized twist it up let it out whatever you need to do get your outline touched up and then eventually once it gets long enough you can start trimming your ends but other than that that's it just don't do anything else to it <laughs> okay so that's it um i'm done and i will see you guys in the next video I don't think there's anything else I can do, but if you have any more questions about natural hair, um, guy-wise or anything else, then those are my only quick tips that I can give you. Um, that's it. And then eventually you'll be able to define your hair and do it like everybody else, but for now, that's, that's it. So I will see you guys in the next one. Like, subscribe, and comment below. See you guys later.